All right, Markel. Man, I'm glad you told me about this. This um, this roommates debate with Coach Greg Adams and Hafiz. I couldn't believe that the guy could say things as ignorant as he as he did. He had no leg to stand on. When faced with facts, the only thing he wants you to do is do what he does and lay his fucking ass on a sword. The fact that he said, you know, I know all of this, you may lose your money, but I'm smart. I'll figure out another way to get my money. She can have my money, basically. And he's saying, I'm fine with that, guys. And he wants you to be fine with that. Does that sound logical guys does that sound logical to me to you it doesn't guys that's what these dating coaches do he thinks that if he displays these sort of martyr tendencies that he'll be able to get you to follow along with his monkey chimpanzee activities if you're a young man, you're a young guy looking at this, never take his advice. Young guy, a woman will always be able to land on all fours. Do you know why? Because she has something wet between her thighs. She can suck off a gang of guys. You, my friend, as a man does not have you do not have those options you have to get it out the mud as they say and the fact that this guy after all the shit men have gone through since the rise of feminism he's still trying to tell you he's still trying to feed you this dumb shit he's a monkey simp He's a blue pilled. He's the king of the blue pilled. He's the blue pill god in the sky. And then next thing you know, you marry these broads. They pull the bait and switch and take all your shit and you want to delete the bitch. Guys, I'm trying to head you off. Just get a little mouth. And be off. And he has the tendency to say, guys are coming into the space to make money. Are you serious? His channel has 587,000 subscribers. You don't think he's getting paid? And this was the... The issue I had with Kevin Samuels when he was alive. See, what these guys do is, is they'll throw these stats at you. They'll, they'll throw these red pill stats at you, and then they'll still come back and say, but you still should get married, dude. They draw you in with the sprinkles of info, and then they make you think that you're special, that you can beat the odds. Well, Mr. Hafiz, let's talk about this. If women are, those divorces, if women are initiating 80% of them, where does that leave men? That's just common sense, man. I, I, I can believe it. I always want to say I can't believe that monkey simps like you exist. But I can believe it. That you will send young men into the slaughterhouse because you refuse to disregard the stats, the facts. I can't even believe that. Coach Greg Adams presented you with the stats and you disregarded them. You got so emotional. And in spite of those stats, you still insist that men 
should tackle marriage when we know what the outcome is going to be. It's going to be her fucking and sucking men in perpetuity. It's going to be her pulling the rug from underneath you. Right after you done screwed. Right after she said, but baby, I love you. I'll be with you forever. That bitch ain't dumb. She playing you, dog. She's fucking clever. That's enough for right now. Hafiz, I don't like disrespecting black men, but you's a fucking clown. I'm up out this bitch. Peace out.